ChrisWahabiKing.com and I am super excited to bring you the new Multistar Elite Motors. Like I've always said, I'm always excited about everything, but this is definitely a project that I personally have been working on and, and they're finally here. We teased a little bit about them the other day where we uh, leaked them on, on the, uh, the little dart frame, the 250 dart frame. Um, definitely have been testing them myself and they are an awesome motor. So what makes the uh, Multistar, uh, the Elite, the Elite uh, versus our standard Multistar motors? Well, um, first thing is going to be quality of the components that are going in, into these motors. Now, they're all top grade, top tier uh, components that are going into them. Just to name a few, and of course, I've got all the specs in the web copy themselves, but we're using N45SH uh, rated magnets, which is about the best you can get. Uh, 180 degree uh, oxygen free copper uh, wire itself. Laminations are 0.2 millimeter on the laminations, which ups the efficiency of the motor itself. Um, bearings on this are Japanese are bearings themselves, um, as well as the balancing uh, 0.005 gram, which is one of the tightest tolerance of any uh, RC motor out there as far as balancing is concerned. Um, just to denote the Elite Motors, we went ahead and anodized them. It's a little bit darker green. And uh, a couple of the other features that, are, are, that makes the Elite uh, the Elite Motor is, uh, is in the design itself of the motor itself. If you notice on the bottom here, it's chamfered down and we've got a little bit taller stack. Now, uh, the reason for this is if we take a look, you've got uh, almost six millimeters right here on the bottom, and it gives you ample uh, room between your mounting hardware and the windings themselves, so you're not uh, gonna have any problems with the, the, the motor uh, bolts going up into the windings on that. The other thing you're gonna notice is this prop adapter. If I go ahead and pop open the set, and we're gonna talk about what options you have on this. I'm just gonna pull these motors out and pop this open. This is how the motor comes out of the box. It actually has replaceable uh, and configurable prop adapters on this particular motor. They're available in clockwise and counterclockwise and they bolt right onto the top, really nice and flush. Uh, it comes with bullet hardware and another thing you're gonna notice on the top of this motor uh, when I remove this nut is that the uh, the prop adapter right in there is actually knurled to stop the prop from slipping on it under hard, hard uh, torque or bigger prop uh, applications. So it's extremely nice. Basically this is the best of the best that you can get in a motor itself as far as quality is concerned. Another thing that I want you guys to note, uh, we'll get in nice and tight onto the windings. These windings are absolutely laid down perfect. It's a work of art. You can kind of think of the uh, the Elite motors as you know a Ferrari motor versus a, a big Chevy V8 that throws down lots of power. This is just a precision, nice, tight little motor. And at the price point it's coming in, you just absolutely cannot beat it. Now this is a 2204, so it's a little bit smaller than the Baby Beast. And the wind on it is 2300 kV. So it's been optimized for the five inch prop. Uh, this is perfect for those smaller frames like those 230s, 220s, uh, where all you can fit in there is a five inch prop. Uh, this is definitely gonna give you more power in that application where the Baby Beast on a six inch prop is just uh, unruly, <laughs> that motor is crazy. So uh, so this is the new Multistar Elite. Now we're gonna have this in two options. You can buy it individually in clockwise and counterclockwise, as well as, I just pulled this one out, uh, which is the master set of four. Comes with uh, the uh, the prop adapters and the prop nuts, two clockwise, two counterclockwise. So you're able to just buy the set if you're, you're running yourself a little mini quad and you're all set with this. Now enough talking about this motor. There's tons of information that I put into the web copy that you're gonna be able to relate to it. Uh, as well as prop data for it. And I've got this uh, test rig uh, set up right now so we can actually do some prop uh, data testing on it. Now I'm gonna do uh, two tests, what I like to call uh, the, uh, the hover efficiency test, uh, where I normally bring up the, the, uh, the motor to a percentage of what I deem uh, divided by four in a quad situation, uh, what would be hovered. So most of these uh, micro quads that are running full FPV, most of them are between 400 and 550 grams so I'm just gonna shoot for 500 grams. I'm just gonna write this down on this paper. So at 500 uh, grams, uh, we basically need a thrust of about 125 grams per motor, uh, just average. So that way we can get a, an amp, a amperage and determine how many amps we're actually uh, pulling in and hover on this motor. And then what I'd like to do is a 50% and 100% power. Now, since this is designed at 2300, uh, it's designed for two and three cell efficiency. I've got the two cell prop data listed under the, uh, the web copy itself. I'm running it right now at 12.6, which is a, a hot uh, three cell setup. Uh, and we'll go ahead and see what this is as far as power is concerned. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some uh, goggles on for safety. Safety first, right? Go ahead and bring this up to 125.
so about 1.9 amps. Now I'm going to bring it to 50% power. And 100% power. So obviously this data is going to fluctuate a little bit with the type of prop that you're running. I'm running a Gen Fan style 5.3 on this. If you've got uh, a different type of prop, I've also got a uh, three blade prop as well as that data is underneath the, uh, the web copy on that as well. But just to put this in perspective, uh, it's 1.9 uh, uh, amps per motor. You times that by four and you're going to have your total uh, amperage for hovering. 500 grams so that works out to just 7.6 amps in a hover so that's extremely efficient for five inch props spinning high rpm obviously it's not going to be the same efficiency as a big prop 13 inch prop spinning slower but in these smaller quads that's uh that's about as good as you can get as far as power uh max output on there 361 uh, with the three bay proper pulling almost 400 grams uh, at about 9.5 uh, amps of power on this particular propeller. And on the six inch prop, I'd recommend that probably only for the two cell application. We've got that information all listed as well. So this is the new Multistar Elite 2204, 2300 KV, uh, available with clockwise and counterclockwise, as well as the new set of four. Definitely check it out if you're in the, uh, the mini quad FPV range. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you guys next time.